but the uh, result that everyone wants to talk about is right here at DS Aitken Reserve. Craigie Burns, 16 14, 110, defeating Essendon Duda Stars, 16 7, 103. And joining us in the box, he was a cool customer all game. Didn't matter whether his team was 50 down or 12 up in the last. It's Peter Bugden. Peter, thanks for joining us on EDFL Radio. No worries, boys. Good to be here. and Especially good to be here as a winner. <laughs> you've coached premierships, but how does that compare? Is that the best home and away season win you've ever been a part of? Uh, it's a pretty good one, uh, especially in, due to the conditions today. Uh, I've had one where we were 69 points down and got up so uh, by a point. So uh, that's probably number one, but this one would be a uh, close second, mate. So at quarter time, we heard your address to the players, clearly unhappy. We're sitting here thinking that there's a gulf in talent and that, that there wasn't much you guys could do, at least based on what happened. You obviously believe in your side. So how unacceptable was that first quarter, given the preceding three that followed it? Oh, look, I, I think we're a little bit victim. You know, the way the draw sort of goes, uh, we play all the sides off a buy. And if we're a little bit reactive in our game and not... Uh, on our medal, uh, and it happened last week, it's happened again this week. We were sort of uh, jumped a bit at the start, and until we switch on and uh, really play from the first minute, we're going to be under the pump. The downside of the um, today's result, obviously, Danny Nolan, any update on, on Yeah, his? Nuggets, he's, he's got a concussion. Oh, you boys seen it. It was a pretty physical game. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if we, we'll probably give him a rest next week, and hopefully he'll be right. I'll give him a call uh, Sometime tonight. We, we didn't. We didn't see the incident in the call. Sort of. Uh, what no, I think it was just in a marking contest, and okay, he's yeah. he's fallen heavily. Yeah, there was no malice in it or anything like that. Peter, yeah. congratulations. Uh, one of the best uh, games I've seen for a very long time, indeed. Um, where did you think that um, you got back into the game? Was it the backs, the mids, or the forwards? If you had to pick one, obviously, uh, yeah, the, the coaching line would be would be to say all of them. But uh, yeah. which, which line did you think? I actually thought our backs held up pretty well uh, at the start of the game, even though they'd kicked the, uh, you know, the, there was weight of uh, entries for them. Was It was something like 15-7 at uh, quarter time. So uh, we were really disappointed in our mids early in the game at quarter time, and Robbie uh, Fletcher, our assistant coach, he had a good chat to them uh, in their huddle. And really, I think it was, at one stage it was like uh, eight centre clearances to two. So that's not good enough, and certainly not if you want to compete against the best side in the comp. So, yeah. Who, who, who do you think drove that? We saw Paige with some, some beautiful tap ruck work in, in the, the last quarter, yeah. particularly when he, he kicked the first four goals of, of that quarter in, in, I think, the opening four minutes. But yeah. um, you also had uh, some, some really good contributors, Gordon, Heenan, and I, I really loved uh, Matt Thomas's game. Oh, Matty was fantastic. Matty's, and look, Matty, credit to Matty. Uh, you know, last week he, he got dropped to the twos. Um, and it was probably about work rate, and uh, he went down and he was probably best on ground in the twos last week and come back and he had a point to prove today and we started him in the midfield and I, I thought he really proved the point today that, you know, he is a great footballer and, and we're glad that he's playing for us. What about uh, Laffin? We thought you used him really smartly off the bench. Uh, Cheshire didn't get much game time, but when he came on, he always did something. We he did. Saw, we saw he had back-to-back yeah. -back inside 50s in that third quarter during the comeback. Um, you, are you a heavy rotation sort of a coach, or was today the sort of day where you just pick horses for courses and do it a little differently? Yeah, no, we go into the game with a full rotation. So the 22 blokes know that uh, what their role will be before the game. Um, but obviously, like all plans, when... Uh, when you're seven or eight goals down at quarter time, uh, we go like this with the plan and throw it out, and then we start to instinctively coach. And and really, at the end of the day, um, you know, I like to stick to the plan and hope that everything's uh, working as the plan should. But when it's not, it's uh, you know, obviously falls upon us to make some changes, and that's you know what all coaches do. We noticed a few 18s in the side today. Yeah. Um, Scotty Hamilton, Nick Fletcher, probably the main two that aren't in your best 22 at the moment. How close was that to your best 22? Um, yeah, there's a few more, I'd reckon. Um, you know, we had uh, Dave Sleeby. He's, had a, he's played all Premier Division last year, had a setback, and he played his game back in the twos today and got through. So he'll be up for selection next week. Uh, Hamo's over in um, South Australia playing for the Victorian Coppers and in the Hawthorne game over there against Port Adelaide, the warm-up. So he'll be back next week. Uh, Fletch, we're hopeful, will play next week. So, I, I, And Christian McElain, uh hopefully, will play his first game next week, one of the vice-captains, and we love having him back in the side as well. Peter, um, number one, Shiloh Smith for Duda Stars. He, he had a, a played a good game. He had yeah. a cracking first quarter, kicked three goals. But uh, I thought you guys, uh, it looked as if from in, internally that you made a point of making sure that if he got the footy that he didn't... Um, It'd be under pressure. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be under pressure. Yeah. Did, was that a, a coaching directive? 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, we put number one and number four on the board at half time and said these boys need to be physically um, challenged. And I think, you know, that's what our boys did. They lifted the tempo and the pressure around them. And, and I think, uh, you know, we got more opportunities as a result. Does this, is this the sort of win that makes a season, really? I mean, to, oh, ki to kick mate. start it. No, but it yeah. is, in, it is in a moment to look back on and to call back on and say, hey, you know, we've come from 51 down. Yeah. No situation is beyond our control. Uh, well, mate, look, in all three games we've been behind and we've had the ability, you know, to really uh, stay composed and compete for the second half of the game. So, mate, look, it's certainly a massive um, game for us. From the point of view, we've got to go down to do the stars and play. Um, we're very optimistic that we're going to be able to make finals this year. And if we can't perform against the best sides, it doesn't stand you in a good stead later on in the year, I don't think. But now... I'm sure Duda's uh, will appreciate that will be a, a contest. It, it would be remiss of us not to ask about the influence of the Cloaks and, and their, yeah. uh, I guess, um, today. Well, Jason was absolutely superb. Cameron yeah. played a role up the ground as well. Yep. Uh, well. What's their role been like, not only today, but at, at the club? Well, mate, look, both the Cloak boys, they train really well. Um, they are a fantastic role model to all the footballers at the club. Uh, they've got that massive um, plus characteristic of never give in, always want to win, and, and they won't lay down. And I think that was evident today, you know. I mean, uh, with Jace, Jace just sort of goes at it, goes at it, goes at it, never quits. And I've seen that in all three games from Jace. Um, Cam's a little bit different. He's a bigger, stronger marking sort of forward, not as mobile as Jace. Jace is really fit, um, but he gives us a great target, so it straightens us up, no doubt. And I guess uh, one more question that uh, I was going to ask, it's maybe a strange question, but you and the coaching staff, you, you all wear the, the suit pants with the shoes. Is that professional image, you know, important for you guys? Uh, well, mate, look, all the players, we've got three senior teams and then the under-18 team. Uh, the club uniform, I think that goes to, uh, and it, probably a little bit like Anzac Day, mate. I'm an ex-soldier myself, and I think the uniform, when we're all wearing the same uniform, we're all on the same page, and it's a really good start point as a group. Um, and, yeah, I think that sort of, sort of leads into our football, our discipline and, and how we want to go about our footy. Well, uh, I want to say well done on the way the club uh, conducted the Anzac Day ceremony. You gave us a cracking game. And, uh, Peter, uh, good luck for the rest of the season. I'm sure we'll be calling Craigie Byrne again a few times on Northwest FM. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for coming down, boys. Thanks to Peter Bugden. Now we're going to be joined by our Sports Moves Player of the Day. Claire Varley's done a great job to grab him out of the rooms and bring him over before we go off air at 5.30. Jason Cloak, seven goals today, a huge performance. Congratulations on the win, first and foremost. How good was singing the song in there after a comeback like that? Oh, for sure. I think we were 51 points down to come back. Uh, it was good by the boys. Uh, like, they haven't had a lot to cheer for and go for the last few years. They uh, haven't been able to run over the games like that, and it's good the last couple of weeks where we probably haven't started the way we wanted to and uh, come back and kicked a few goals and won a few games, so it's been good. Jace, you've had a lot of great years down at Spotswood, obviously, some great wins in your time there. How, how does this rank? Oh, for sure. Like, due to Stars, they've come, like, they've come back from the Premier League and come back there. Got a lot of good players. I've played against a lot of the guys out there, and um, yeah, it's been it's up there with one of the big wins. The 51 points, I think, is probably one of the biggest of comebacks in any sort of football I've played in. So in, the, in these conditions too, it's even harder to, in a wet, muddy condition. So it was good. We asked uh, your coach Peter Bugden, is this the sort of win that gives you belief from any position that you can make your season from here, knowing that regardless of the situation, you guys are always in the contest? I think so. We're just we, I think we've got the spirit now that know that if our best is good enough to match it with anyone and our worst sometimes can be that bad and we've just got to come to the balance of like play our better footy as soon as we're not relying on one or two blokes to get out of the middle and everyone's having a red hot dip but it was good and um, I think it showed on a day like today we like had a big crack for the Anzacs and I think a lot was said playing on Anzac day I've done a couple of them and a lot of guys have never played on or trained or any sort of experience like these days and today was very good and I think for the club, for the competition, for the league, everything. Like, I think it was conducted well and played well. So, To, to kick seven, you need some good supply from the midfield. Um, yes, your thoughts on uh, the boys up the ground today? It was a real dogfight. I really like Caruso's game, a couple others as well. So, Yeah, for um, sure. Uh, I know you don't want to pump yeah. your own tides with the seven goals, but yeah, we've got a lot of help from the midfield oh, mate, today. It makes it so much easier having a brother out there, for one, taking yeah. a, lot of the, a lot of the pressure off me at Spotswood the last few years. It was myself jumping over three or four and... Now Cam's taken the two best defenders a lot of the week and 
I can jump up, kick, kick a couple of goals, it's good. And some of the delivery, it's, mate, it's phenomenal how good skills are at local footy still. And like, we're not Premier League, we're still First Division, but mate, the skills out there, as you sort of seen today, and the, the quality of football in the conditions was grouse to be involved in and even watch it sometimes. Jason, you mentioned your, your brother during the last quarter, he might have copped a, a knock or got a free kick in inside 50, and he flew the, the flag up pretty quickly. He, you, are you enjoying playing with your brother at the moment? Oh, for sure, mate. There's local footies. There's a lot of blokes want to be well, heroes out there and get a free kick. Then uh, for someone to come up and punch you know, blatantly in the guts and throw four blokes out, and I think it doesn't matter who it is, we're all going to fly the flag for someone getting hit off the ball where it shouldn't be in the local footy. So I think it doesn't matter. Cam and I enjoy playing together. That's why we decided what we wanted to do this year was play together make it easier for one for my old man to come watch one game than go to watch Trove instead of going from one side of town to the other around. So that's what who, we want to do. Who did he watch today? Nah, he's got lunch in today. Yeah. And the MCG, so. <laughs> and nah, dad, dad, I don't even think Dad went to the footy day. He got operated on during the week, so he's taking it easy. Any chance that uh, the three of you, Trav as well, might be able to... Oh, mate, any I'll, chance at all? I don't think one I'll day? be playing when I'm 40 still, so when Trav right. decides to finish, I all think right. I've only got a year or so left in me, mate. So I oh, never know, but it's good to have a kick together and it's good to be out there with Cam he works with me now I play footy with him so uh, it's been good well uh, Jason congratulations on your own performance a great win one that I'm sure the boys will celebrate hard in spite of the uh, the bad weather tonight uh, just be before we let you go what is the social scene like here at Craigieburn how have you found coming into a totally new group of it's a very uh, passionate sort of club where they they really look after their own how have they made you and your brother feel so far oh for sure mate I, like I said I'd never played local footy before I went to spotty and experience the local footy, the community, and the same down here. It's just, it's so much better, like, playing VFL, AFL, then coming back and playing local footy, where after the game you can see how passionate, like, the supporters are. Like, it's a wet, shitty day today here, and the place was packed, and there's mm. people, like, everywhere about. It's so good to come down, and everyone's made us feel so welcome, like, you expect anywhere to play football, and uh, it's just been, mate, be honest, it's been grace the last few weeks, and... Um, Hopefully I can keep joining and hopefully I can keep kicking a couple of goals. Well, uh, congratulations on your performance in the win today and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you to Jason Cloak joining us here on Northwest FM 98.9.